Hey guys, Aaron speaking. Earthwalker Primitive with my uh, intro to the, to the compass and land navigation series. Uh, this is video four. Um, like I said before in all my other videos, this is an introduction course for beginners, those who never touched a compass, used a compass, done any land navigation whatsoever, and uh, want to learn how to use one to either navigate in the woods or to help find your way out of the woods or in, in any situation where you need to need to get out of. Um, this is also a refresher. Some people have been using this as a refresher and appreciating it. Those who haven't used a compass in a very long time and uh, they're gaining from it. So I'm glad that people are enjoying it. And uh, all I will say is if you are watching this video, sorry for the movement, readjusting my camera here. Uh, if you uh, are watching this to actually sincerely learn and uh, discover these skills, learn these skills for use. If this is the first of this series that you watch, please, please, please go back to the introduction and watch them uh, in order because, like I said, I'm building my information on. This is just a brief overview of what uh, what what sessions or what um, what parts I have so far in the workings. Obviously, the first one we did was introduction to the compass, where I discussed the two. Uh, the different types of compasses and their uses and the disadvantages and their advantages. The second video was in shooting it back in panic asthmus uh, to help prevent yourself from getting lost or knowing what direction you're heading at all times so you can find a way back out. It's a good video, which is a good basic, quick little uh, tip on making sure you don't get lost in the situation. Even if you don't know all the other stuff about compasses and land navigation and map reading, if you can at least do that before you head out of the woods, and you understand your situation and your and your uh, location, that'll keep you alive. That'll keep you from getting lost. Um, so that's a good video to watch. Uh, last video was the third video, which was shooting an azimuth. We talked about the two different uh, hold methods of using a compass, how to use the two different types of compasses that I've been featuring in these videos, and we also talked about the different usages of those two two hold method <coughs> two hold methods. Excuse me. This video here is keeping pace. We're going to go over to what the pace count is, is uh, determining how far you walked. Uh, determining pace count will be the video that follows this one. The reason why I did it flip-flopped keeping pace first is because I'm going to show you different methods of how to keep your pace. So this way you can be prepared for the next video. If you watch this video and you're actually paying attention and you're going through with it and you want to try these methods that I'm going to have, um, you can go ahead and build yourself something what I'm going to show you, make yourself something, or even buy it, they do sell them, but they're super cheap to make, no reason to pay the money for it. Um, this is a way to, to keep track of how far we're walking when we do the determining the pace count, which is how, which determining pace, your pace, when you refer to the word pace, that's how far you have to walk to reach a certain distance, okay, um, and that's what determining your pace count is. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, the next video after that is going to be Compass Confidence Check, where I'm actually going to show you, <clears throat> demonstrate to you, excuse me. I'm going to show to you and demonstrate a way to get out with your compass into a local area, preferably an open field, and you'll see why. Uh, to check your compass to see if it's working correctly, see if you're reading it correctly, and to also check your pace count. Uh, after that, we're going to talk about azimuth deviation, which I discussed a little bit in the last video, um, and how that can factor into the way we walk in the woods and the way we shoot uh, shoot our azimuth. And then after that, we're going to talk about obstacles, obstacles meaning things that you have to go around. We talked about in the last video about staying on your azimuth, but what happens if you have to go around something and deviate from that course? And we'll discuss that in that video. And then that ends the basic set of the videos, and then after that we're going to go into a series on map reading and actually plotting, using your compass and your map to plot um, how to walk and navigate to a known point or an unknown point. So, that being said, we're going to talk about the pace count. Like I said, the pace count is your way to determine how far you walked. All right, the distance that you have covered, or how far you have to walk to reach a certain distance. And um, when we go over these series, I'm going to be speaking everything in uh, in kilometers. Okay, I'm going to do that just because it's one is universal. Two, I'm military trained and in the military for distance and all that and map reading. We talk about kilometers, 
the maps that we use and most topographical maps are geared towards kilometers. The grid squares on the maps are done in kilometers. Everything is kilometers, not miles. Okay, so for these videos and for the purpose of land navigation, get miles out of your head and only think kilometers and meters. Okay, not yards and miles. Um, but determining your pace, let's say you're here and you want to walk here and you can actually measure out that distance on the map and you can measure out um, let's say 800 meters well how can you determine that you walked 800 meters or, or are not have not walked far enough and uh, and whatnot you get the point uh, how can you be sure that you've walked 800 meters so you don't overshoot it and how can you be sure you walked far enough that you, that you weren't short um, so we're going to discuss how to figure that out in the next video but what we're going to talk about right now is how to keep track of that okay and there's many different methods um, that you can do that you can buy these store bought they do sell them a few bucks a piece they got real fancy ones if you want to be real fancy but there's no reason to buy what's called pace beads or ranger beads whatever you want to call them or however you heard of them um, they're sold as ranger beads they're sold as pace beads whatever well, this is what we do in the military. We wear these in the military and we do land navigation to keep track of how far we walk. As you can see here, all I did to make this handmade one, I don't have a store-bought one because I'm not going to spend money on something I can make that's going to do just the same. All right, it's just a piece of 550 cord that I looped on itself and knotted at the end. I got two knots in it, one at the end and one down here at the bottom, and we'll explain that for in a minute. All right, I got it looped so I can hook it onto my gear or loop it around something and pull it through that way it's always going to be on my gear and accessible where I can reach it and grab it without digging in a pocket you don't want this in your pocket because it can mess it up and you'll see how all right now if you see I got this knot here I got this knot down here it's a little bit of a shorter piece and I got a longer piece I took two pieces of 550 cord and knotted them on so they slide okay just two knots that slide back and forth up here I have nine okay nine knots that all slide individually all right now keep them up at the top now keep these up at the top all right now the object is these knots up here are all are all 100 meter increments each knot represents 100 meters down here each knot represents 1000 meters that's why there's a few of these and more of these now when you make this you can put however many you want on it as you can see with this one this is my fancy dancy one that I have for my fancy dancy little uh, um, uh, walking stick that I have it attaches on there through this little draw cord this little toggle and it's just owl leg bones uh, and they slide down I like this one because it's actually got a lot of good friction so it doesn't accidentally slide I'm not going to bump at this if I'm finally in enough the 550 cord will slip a little bit but you could do this with beads you could do it with buttons you can cut it and make it handmade like i did with this uh however you want but i like this if you want it something durable that's not just you know while you're walking you're not going to hit it and boom all these beads slide down all right you want those beads to be on there like these are pretty tough i actually got to work to pull these down but i got these up here for my 100 meter increments and then i got four down here for my thousand meter increments and these are actually deer teeth that I uh, drilled through and just threaded on there and uh, now the purpose of this and the object of using this what it is is you start off okay you know you have to walk so far you know you have to walk let's say 1,000 meters okay you start with these all the way up at the top or you could do it bottom and pull them up however you prefer but they're all in the same spot okay so now I'm going to walk and I'm going to be utilizing my pace count to keep track of how far I walk. So every time I hit 100 meters, I'm going to go, okay, cool, there's 100 meters. Boom. Pull that down. Now I'm going to keep on walking, starting over my count, get to the next 100 meters. Okay, boom. I'm going to continue walking again. Another 100 meters. Okay, boom. Now if I say I forget how far I walked, I can go down here and go, oh, one, two, three. Okay, I walked 300 meters. All right. So if I have to walk a thousand meters, I know I have to walk seven more, hundred meters. So there's one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, there's only nine on here. The reason there's only nine on here is because there's 1,000 meters that I have to walk, right? So, wow, that was tight. I like this. So I know that when I get up there to reach for, you know, number 10, oh, I'm out. That means I've walked 1,000 meters. Now I can come down here and pull down one of these. Boom. So now I know that I've walked 1,000 meters. I push all these back up to the top, and I start all over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For 900 meters, oh, I reached another 1,000 meters. So now I can pull another one of these down. Boom. So now I know I walk 2,000 meters. I start over again. I walk, I get to 300 meters, something happens. I fall down, boom, I get up, I hit my head. I don't remember a thing. How far did I walk? Oh, well, I walked, I got two down here, so that's 2,000. And then three here, so that's 2,300 meters that I've walked. Okay? And that's the purpose of these pace beads, or ranger beads, however you want to call them. All right? It's to keep track of how far you've already walked. And uh, now you don't have to make these to do that if you got a super memory and you want to memorize it and you feel you can go ahead um, if you want you could take a pen out and mark it in your hand or a marker but you know you sweat or whatever that might rub off it might not work you might not have a pen there's other simple simple more primitive methods to do it a lot of people will do this in the army They'll take a handful of rocks and shove a handful of rocks in one of their pockets, all in the same pocket. They'll say, I put this all in my right pocket, okay? My left pocket will be empty. I walk my pace count, I get to 100 meters, or say I want to, since I'm using rocks in a pocket, let's make it a little bit longer. Every 500 meters, I'm going to put a rock in my pocket. So 500 meters, I walk, I hit 500 meters, I reach in my pocket, grab out a rock, put it in my left pocket, okay? I walk another 500 meters, grab another rock out of my right pocket, put it in my left pocket. Alright? Same concept. You're just moving one from the other to the other place. And then that way you can reach into that pocket and count and pull out your rocks. Oh, okay, I got two rocks, so I know I've walked at least 1,000 meters or more. Okay? So that's a good way to do it. Another way to do it is simply take a stick. And as you walk, you're counting one, two, three, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You get to 100 meters break off a piece of stick put it in your pocket keep on walking another hundred meters break off a piece of stick put it in your pocket 300 meters break off a stick put it in your piece of pocket you fall down get disoriented you stop and took a lunch break how how far did i walk and you reach my pocket i got three pieces of stick in my pocket so i've walked 300 meters okay so that is the basics of how to keep your pace and understand how far you went uh, you walked so that way you always know when you head out, okay, cool, if something happens, wherever. Let's say you are moving four kilometers uh, away. Okay, that's a good distance away. But halfway there, you know, you get 2,000 meters, and then you walk three, 400 meters, but you, and you decided you needed the rest. Okay, you just got too hot, too tired, whatever you need the rest so you stop and you camp maybe you fall asleep take a nap decided to call it quits for the day and you camp for the night and then you wake up the next morning well how are you going to remember counting a number all the way in your head to two thousand one two three four hundred okay well you had your pace speed so you can get up shoot your azimuth get the bearing where you have to go again whip out your pace speeds okay i know i gotta walk four thousand meters i've already walked two thousand one two three four meter 400 meters so now i know i only have to walk x amount of meters to get to where i gotta go so that's the basic gist of keeping your pace count in the next video i'm actually going to have it's going to be a lot shorter don't worry i'm sorry to be so long-winded on these but i'd rather get the information out there than uh than withhold any kind of information for you uh, or at least different aspects of it so uh, the next video will actually be on the terminating what your pace count is so you can gauge how far you walk well i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you're learning something i hope you uh um are finding these videos useful i'm sorry i'm speaking earthwalker primitive thank you